Good morning and welcome to Friday's Daily Devotion. I'm David. This morning we're going to look again at a meditation from No Ordinary Man and it's from the point of view of Cleopas who walked on the road to Emmaus with Jesus. The reading's from Luke 24, 13 to 20 and then 25 to 31. Now, on that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all the things that had happened. Whilst they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognising him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other, each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who doesn't know the things that have taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead of, as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it's almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognised him, and he vanished from their sight. So that's who it was. I see it now staring me in the face. But how could we not have realised it before? That's what I don't understand. You see, we'd been to Jerusalem, watched with our own eyes what they did to him. Even stood at the foot of the cross. Yet we didn't recognise him when he walked beside us. Why? Was it sorrow that blinded us? Our hearts too full of grief, grief to glimpse the truth? It's possible, for we were devastated. There's no denying that. We'd thought he was the one we longed for, come to redeem our people. And it had been a terrible blow after arriving full of hope, anticipating his kingdom, to see him nailed to the cross, cru bruised, and broken, the life seeping from his bleeding body. We'd been so certain, so sure he was the Messiah, but we'd seen his death, and we were making our way back home, our dreams in tatters, our lives in ruins. That could have clouded our eyes unquestionably, for we had little for anything or anyone. He was the last person we expected to meet, I can tell you that. Oh, I know he talked of rising again, returning from the grave. We were talking of it even as we walked. But we'd taken it all with a pinch of salt. In our hearts we'd given up, reluctantly wake, making our way back to reality. We'd never imagined for a moment we might see him. The sort thought simply never entered our heads. So, yes, perhaps that explains it, why for all that time the penny failed to drop. Yet it was more than that, for it wasn't finally the face we recognised at all. It went far deeper. The way he spoke the way he acted, the way our hearts burned within us as we walked. 
and above all, that meal be shared. He took the bread and broke it, and we suddenly realised, with a certainty nothing could shake, that this was Jesus, risen, alive, victorious. Yet even as we saw him, he disappeared, vanished before our eyes, and we've never seen him since. It's funny that, isn't it? How we saw him so clearly when we couldn't see him at all. How our eyes were open when we weren't even looking. And how we know he's with us now, even though he's departed from us. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, like the two disciples on the Emmaus Road, so often we journey through life unaware of your presence. Though we talk of your resurrection, resurrection, it does not stir our hearts or capture our imagination in the way it should. Yet though we may not realise it, even in our doubt, you are there with us, matching your stride to ours, waiting to meet us along the way. Open our eyes that we may see you, Lord, and know you better. Amen. Well, thank you so much for listening to the devotions this week. Hope to see you again in a few months' time. In the meantime, have a great day and God bless. Bye now.